This is another example where we're going to simplify a logical expression. The logical expression involves the logical statements P and Q, and we're just going to use the logical laws that we know to simplify this. Okay? So this is our starting logical expression, and we want to simplify it using our laws. So the first thing that comes to mind is to use the distributive law. I have a P and here and a P and here. So that is somewhat of a clue that I could kind of factor out, so to speak, a P from both of these terms. And that's basically just an application of the distributive law. The distributive law says that if you have P and quantity Q or R, you can write that as P and Q quantity or with the quantity P and R. So it's distributive. It's not unlike the multiplication distributive property where we can kind of distribute out P across each element of this quantity. That's what we've done here. So to apply this law to my original logical expression, I'm kind of going to go backwards. I already have a P distributed in both spots, right here and right here. So I'm going to kind of go backwards to something that looks like this to simplify. So let's go ahead and do that. So our original logical expression is this. Applying the distributive law, I can write that as P and, and then inside here, I need to go ahead and write down Q or with not Q, because that's what matches up here in the distributive law. Those two things right there are what go inside the parentheses term. So I've done that. So that helps a little bit, and especially is going to help now when we look and see what's inside this parentheses term here. I have the quantity Q or not Q. That is what we call a tautology. That is something that is always true. When Q is true, not Q is false, so we would have true or false, which is true. When Q is false, not Q is true, so we would have false or true, which is also true. So no matter what value Q has, this quantity, Q or not Q, is always true. Always true statements are what we call tautologies, and we can apply a tautology law to now further simplify what's written here. So our tautology law says that anytime you have a logical statement and with a tautology, that's exactly equal to just the logical statement. So we can apply that directly here, because that's exactly what we have. We have a logical statement P and it with a tautology. So that's going to simplify our statement to just P. So that is our final answer. We have simplified the logical expression that we started with down to just the logical statement P, which is obviously much simpler. Just like in the previous example, we can go ahead and make truth tables to kind of sanity check the work we've done. So up here, I'm going to go ahead and construct a truth table. We start off, as usual, by making columns for P and Q and filling those in with every combination of P and Q, starting with all false, going to all true. And then we make a column for every other piece of the logical expression that we need. So since we have a not Q here, I'm going to make a not Q column. And I can easily fill that in just by taking the not of everything in the Q column. And then since I have a P and Q here, I have a P and Q column I'm going to fill in. And I can construct that just by anding this column with this column. So after I do that, I get FFFT. I also have a P and not Q term, so I make a column for that. I can fill that in. And then finally, now that I have this piece and this piece, I can make a column very easily for my overall logical expression and fill that in by looking at my table just by oring this column with this column. So after I do that, I get FFTT. We don't even need to really make a truth table for our simplified logical statement because it's so simple, it's just P. And I actually have a column for P already in this truth table. So if I can compare the entries for my original logical expression and compare that to P, I can see that they match. In each row, the value for P matches the value for my logical expression. I go F, F, T, T. So this verifies that our simplification is legitimate simplification.